Good morning. Hopefully everybody had a great weekend and, and um yeah, and start of a, a, a hopefully what is a short um holiday weekend and Thanksgiving um this week. But um I wanted to talk about the holidays that are coming up and really talk about value just in terms of I think it's a wonderful time to be picking and buying guitars. Sometimes I get misguided on this channel. Um so if you get through this midlife crisis in terms of like uh uh uh, uh just guitar acquisition syndromes and really just focusing sometimes on very expensive guitars or at least it's all money and expenses all relative uh, but what i wanted to talk about was value in guitar buying right now um, so despite the fact that yeah i'll play some of these heritage uh, or 1980 uh, gibson es 175d um, you know and an expensive amp milkman there are some great values to be had if you know what you're looking for because in my arsenal of equipment i do have and i find you know some great great values uh, so i recently just played um, what i think is like i would say it's a great value it's uh, from 2012 it is uh epiphone um es175 so it's not an epiphone premium so i don't even think it has a 57 classic and the price point on that is like between six and seven hundred dollars i saw it for and i played it through a quilter amp um i think it was a mach 2 or mach 3 but anyway the two of them together would run you for about twelve hundred thirteen hundred dollars and you would need nothing else so you can still have deals like that um in addition to that deal um um i just recently bought um what was that guitar called again um uh, the J6, the Washburn J6. I bought that and the prior owner swapped the pickups for 57 Classics. And I bought that for under $600. So the thing plays like butter, sounds great um, through a lot of variety amps. So it's not about the Heritage, it's not about the Gibsons, it's not about the Nash. Yeah, those are nice instruments, but they do cost. So what follows next is a video of me just playing that um, Gibson Yes, once it's not Gibson, I should say it is. It sounds pretty pretty close. If I didn't tell you what I was playing, you could say that I was my Gibson or a Gibson. But it's an Epiphone um, ES one seventy five played through a use um, um, uh, Quilter amp um, Mach two or three, I believe. But um, I'll put it in the description. So in any event, practice, practice, practice. It's not all about the expensive gear, no matter what people um, tell you. Buy some good used equipment, bring that to a luthier, get it set up, and you're going to have yourself some fun for the holidays. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now. And practice, practice, practice.